In this question, a scientist finds a container labelled ethane with a formula C2H6. The scientist determines that the substance inside the container is made up of 84.4% carbon by mass. Our goal is going to be firstly figuring out the molar mass of ethene, then figuring out the percent composition of ethane, and using that to figure out is what's contained in that container pure ethane or not? And if it's not, what are the possible contaminants that we could have? So let's start off exactly the same as on our previous question. We need to find our molar mass. So we're going to look at each of our elements in the periodic table, carbon and hydrogen. So here's carbon and here's hydrogen. Carbon has a relative atomic mass of 12.01 and hydrogen's is 1.01. So let's fill those in. We had 12.01 for carbon and 1.01 for hydrogen. Okay, the number of atoms in the compound. Well, ethane has the formula C2H6. So we've got two carbons and six hydrogens in our compound. Now to find the total molar mass of each element in the compound, we need to multiply the molar mass of the element by the number of atoms in the compound for both of those. So if we put that in our calculator, for carbon, we have 24.0 in total. And for hydrogen, we have 6.06. .06. Okay, so there we've got our total molar mass for carbon and hydrogen in our compound. Finally, to find the molar mass of ethane, the entire compound, we need to add those together. And when we add those together, we get a molar mass of 30.06, which rounds to a molar mass of 30.1 grams per mole for ethane. Okay, so that's our molar mass. Next, we need to find our percent composition. So let's go find our equation for that. Here's our equation for percent composition by mass. Percent composition of x is the mass of x divided by the mass of the compound times 100. So our percent composition of x is the mass of x divided by the mass of the compound times 100%. So if we want to find the percent of carbon, that's going to be the mass of carbon in the compound, which is 24, divided by the total mass of the compound, which is 30.1 times 100%. And that gets us 79.9% carbon. Percent hydrogen is going to be our mass of hydrogen in the compound, which is 6.06, .06, divided by the mass of the compound, which is 30.1, multiplied by 100%. That gets us 20.1% hydrogen. So for carbon, we have 79.9%. For hydrogen, we have 20.1%. Okay, so here we found the theoretical percent composition of a pure sample of ethane. So now we need to think about the sample from the question. So the scientists determined the substance was made up of 84.4% carbon by mass. So let's write that here. Substance has 84.4% carbon. So the question is, does the container that the chemist found contain pure ethane? If the container contains pure ethane, then the percent carbon in the container should be the same as that in the percent composition of ethane. But actually, the percent of carbon in the container is higher 
than in the pure ethane from the percent composition because we've got 84.4 percent carbon in the container which is greater than the 79.9 percent carbon that's in ethane so does the container contain pure ethane no the reason why we know that is because the proportion of carbon in the sample is too high to be pure ethane okay so we know it's not pure ethane the last question is which of these possible contaminants could have caused that difference in the percent. So we found that there's too much carbon in the sample. So the contaminants must have more carbon uh, by percent composition, by mass, in them than our pure compound of ethane, C2H6. So we're looking for anything that has more carbon than C2H6 as a percent. So let's think about C2H4 first. So C2H4 is similar to C2H6, except it's got two less hydrogens. So let's just picture that. So this is our pure compound, C2H6. And the compound we're shown there is C2H4, which looks like this. So we can see we have the same number of carbons in each compound, but C2H4 has two less hydrogens in it. So based on the percent composition, because the second compound has less hydrogen, overall it has more carbon as a percent because there's less of the other stuff. So this one, is going to have a higher percent carbon than this one, which is going to have a lower percent carbon. So based on that, C2H4 would be a contaminant that could cause this uh, change. It could cause this result in the um, percent composition because it has a higher percent of carbon so it would lead to the percent of carbon in the container being higher. So C2H4 is yes, that is an example of a compound that could have caused the percent carbon to be higher than it should be. The next compound we're comparing with is C2H5Cl. So let's draw that one. Okay, so we can see this compound looks identical. The only difference is one of the hydrogens has been swapped for a chlorine. Now, if we go peek at our periodic table and we find chlorine, we'll see that the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.45, which is way higher than the relative atomic mass of hydrogen. So chlorine has a much higher relative atomic mass than hydrogen. And so in the second compound, there's a lot more mass of other stuff that isn't carbon. So as a result, the percent carbon in this compound is going to be lower than the percent carbon in our original compound. And the reason being is that we've added a element that has a much bigger relative atomic mass that's going to take up more of the rest of the mass of the compound. So as a result, carbon is going to take up less of the overall proportion of the mass and the percent carbon is going to be lower. So this one wouldn't work because if this was our contaminant, that would cause the percent carbon to be lower rather than higher. So this one's going to be no. And then the last possible contaminant is C2H6O. So let's draw that one as well. So you can see this one is identical to ethane, our original compound. The only difference is we also have an extra oxygen in there. So because we have an extra oxygen, the molar mass of the compound overall 
is going to be bigger, but the mass of carbon in the compound is the same. We've still got two carbons in each. And based on that, when we divide the mass of the carbon by the mass of the entire molar mass of the whole compound, we're going to get a smaller percent for this one because there's more other stuff in it. So this is going to be a lower percent carbon compared with our original compound, which is going to be a higher percent carbon. So this one, again, would not work. This would be a no because this contaminant would cause a lower percent carbon than we would expect overall, whereas our substance in the container had a higher percent carbon than the pure ethane. So as you can see, this question works exactly the same as the previous skill, which is finding our percent composition, but then we have to compare the percent composition found in the container with the percent composition that we calculated to figure out is it pure or not, and if it isn't pure, which of these possible contaminants could have caused that increased or decreased percent?